I'm back. Whoa, what's that? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil, and this is going to be a review on Love and Hip Hop Season 3, Episode 7. Let's go. Bitch, let me start off by saying this. If you have not checked out that Bad Boys Club New Orleans video that I did, make sure you go check that video out, like it, and share it with your friends. And I got that shit out the way. Bitch, let's jump into this episode, child. So we got Stevie J, Jocelyn, Benzino, and Benzino girlfriend, Althea. Bitch, what kind of name is Althea, bitch? What, what the fuck? Bitch, I never even heard that name before, bitch. So Jocelyn pulls Althea to the side or whatever, and she trying to get the tea on her and Benzino. Like, you know, how long y'all been together? How long y'all been fucking around? You know what's going on or whatever. But then Eldia, girl, look. But then Eldia, <laughs> bitch, come on. That whole got to have that stupid ass name. Fuck. All right. <clears throat> so, bitch, Eldia answered her little questions or whatever. But then Eldia brought up Carly Red and was like, you know, what's the tea with this bitch, Carly Red? Jocelyn was like, bitch, you better watch that whole Carly Red. I mean, she ain't nothing but a gold digger, but trust me, if the door is open, that bitch will come in. I've seen changes to Kirk and Rashida at the doctor's office with baby called or whatever. So, bitch, why Kirk telling Rashida her finance is not right to take a trip to New Orleans, bitch? Now, bitch, I ain't gonna even lie, bitch. New Orleans is one of the fucking cheapest places you can take a vacation to, bitch. You know what I'm saying, bitch? How y'all ain't got enough coins to come to New Orleans, bitch, with all these residuals that y'all getting from all this music that y'all done produced, bitch? Okay? What, whatever happened to the coins you was talking about from an episode or two ago? No, ma'am, child. Ain't no way, Rashida, bitch. Even, bitch, if you go to the underground and sell your little CD for a few hours, bitch, you'll make enough coins to come to um, New Orleans, girl. I don't know, child. Either Kirk telling some real ass truths, bitch, and these hoes really broke like a motherfucker and can't afford to come on a trip to New Orleans. I mean, fuck. Mardi Gras only one fucking day. Usually people come that Friday, Saturday, and they leave that Wednesday. I mean, it's not that much money. You know what I'm saying? But, child, Kirk said they can't afford it, bitch. <laughs> Kirk said they can't afford it, bitch. Kirk said her finances is not looking right for all that shit, bitch. So then, bitch, the doctor comes in there or whatever. So Kirk asks the doctor, do you think it's cool for her mama to be kissing my baby in the mouth? The fucking Chinese doctor was like, no, ma'am. You can't be kissing on that fucking baby in the mouth, bitch. That baby immune system is weak. And then, bitch, you know you got all these grown-ass germs going into that baby. No, ma'am. You can't do that. And Kirk was like, see, bitch, I told you. And I'm going to tell your mama, too. Don't worry about it. We're going to let her know. And then Rashida was like, yeah, we're going to find a way to tell my mama. Girl, I hope you made it to New Orleans, bitch. <laughs> so now we by Deb House. And it's Deb, Tammy, and Waka or whatever. And they talking about <clears throat> how Waka, little brother, K.O. committed suicide or whatever. And that part right there, y'all, you know, I'm kind of getting out of character or whatever, but that part right there really hit home for me, you know what I'm saying? Because one of my best friends committed suicide in 2005, and it's still kind of hard to come to terms with, you know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, hope and pray that, you know, his family could get through this and, you know, that they just get stronger and heal with time or whatever. That's all I really got to say about that part. Um, oh, I also want to say this, like, Deb was saying that he had planned his own funeral and stuff the day before. Like, when people talk to you like that, you have to, like, read in between the lines. Because a person not just going to come out and just say, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Not all people who commit suicide is going to say that. You know what I'm saying? They'll throw you hints and clues and shit. And, you know, it's probably just for you to reach out or to see, you know, if you even care. Not saying that Deb didn't care and that he didn't reach out to Deb or whatever. But, um, you know, that's all I really got to say about that. Part. So, bitch, now we got Jock 
performing at a showcase, bitch. Wait, hold up. I thought a showcase was for like, you know, new and upcoming artists or whatever. You know, artists who ain't really did shit and trying to get their name out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jack, why are you doing a showcase? Like, what's going on? But, um, fuck, I guess you are like a new artist, bitch, because you ain't have nothing since 06, bitch, 07. I know you still like bing, bang. I know you want some shit going on that dick like a piece of bubble gum. I know you still. Oh, child, my bad. I got kind of carried away. That was my fucking song, though, Jock. I ain't gonna lie, bitch. I know I've heard that song over 5,000 times, bitch. That was my fucking song back in 06, 07 when it came out. Dallas days. So Carly Red runs in the Kirk or whatever. And Kirk feel like it's his business to tell Carly Red that Benzino is fucking with somebody else or whatever. So Kirk was like, ooh, you glowing, girl. What's the tea, girl? You, you missed that dick, bitch? Like, what's going on, child? You got a good, a nice little glow to you, bitch. Like, what's the tea? What you thinking about like that or whatever? So, bitch, why Kirk felt like it was his place to tell Benzino business to call it red, bitch? I never know, child. Child, now we got Mama D looking at fucking schoolers, bitch. And, bitch, I hope she got her head, like, fixed from last season, bitch, while she looking at scooters and shit. Anyway, girl, Scrappy walks up or whatever, and Scrappy looking like, what the fuck is going on now? And she was like, I want a scooter, and I deserve a scooter after all the shit your hoes done put me through while your ass was on South Beach in Miami. So, he was like, ma, you couldn't have thought that was cool to, you know invite both of them there at the same time and all that other good shit. So then he was like, i buy you this bike long as you stay out of my business. And then she was like, hmm, let me just say yeah right now so I can get this bike, but that bitch know I'm gonna be in his business. That's my son, and I gotta protect the throne. Child, so now we at Sleazy and Zeno's or whatever, girl. So Benzino walks up with his old lady Althea or whatever and introduces her to Carly Rae. So Althea asks Carly Rae, do she miss Benzino dick? And Carly like, what the fuck? She was like, well, that's what I've been hearing around town. She was like, no, baby, the only dick that I miss is my old man dick, you know, young Jack. And Carly, bitch, you keep throwing young Jack name around like he's, bitch, on the top of the charts right now, girl. Like, people is laughing at you when you say young jock like that. Like, the way she said it, you know, young jock. Bitch, I vaguely know him, bitch. Like, I barely remember him. So, Benzino was like, wait, let me go get Kirk right quick. So, Kirk come over there and say something totally different, child. Y'all know how the Queens is known for twisting up a story, bitch. So next thing you know, bitch, this whole out there throwing a drink on Carly, then Carly throwing a drink on her. Then Benzino like, escort that bitch out my club. All right, Benzino, down. That bitch neck go in further when he get mad. Escort that bitch out my club. <laughs> no, man, Benzino. So then next thing you know, you got Erica saying, wait, who you calling a bitch, Benzino? Who you calling a bitch, Benzino? Erica must have just wanted some camera time because if he getting into it, we'll call it Erica. What made you think he was talking to you? I mean, you was standing right there by call it, but if that was me in that situation, I'd have been like, oh, he must be talking to this hoe because that's what he getting into it with. Bitch, like that ain't have nothing to do with you, Erica. So then Erica walks up there and out there throw a drink on that hoe. Erica looked like she wanted to explode or whatever, bitch. I think Erica whipped that whole out there, bitch. I don't know. Because Erica looked like she got some scrap with her, bitch. And you know she from the hood, child. child so Scrappy meets up with Bambi or whatever. And Bambi telling him what happened while he was gone, bitch. Like how Mama D had her and Erica P meeting up and all this shit. Talking about she needed to listen to what Erica P had to say. And Bambi was like, I don't need to hear nothing that another hoe got to say about the man that I'm sleeping with. Bitch, it was all kind of... So tea. then she told Scrapper, you know, y'all can have all that shit. You and your mama bringing too much fucking drama in my life, and I'm not used to all that shit. If I wanted to beat hoes up, bitch, I could just be beating these hoes up in comedy. And then, you know, Scrappy just giving her, like, this old mellow-ass look, and she was like, I could just slap the fuck out you right now. Bitch, y'all seen how Scrappy opened his eyes? Then, bitch, Scrappy looked like he got scared. He know that bitch Bambi about that life, bitch. That hoe don't be playing. 
Wait, girl, breaking news, bitch. Did y'all hear how Bambi and her click, um, Bambi click fucked up um, Erica P? Now, it's according to Media Takeout, so, bitch, I wouldn't say it's a credible source, bitch. Sorry, Media Takeout, I'm just saying. Yeah, child, they say the girl was in the club, and, bitch, all Bambi hoes jumped on that hoe, bitch. Right in the bathroom, girl. They say they tried to slice the girl's face, but she threw her elbow up, so, bitch, she had to get 100 stitches in her arm, bitch. That's why they say, bitch, all these love and hip-hop castmates gotta have, like, security, bitch, when they go somewhere, bitch, from each other and the public, girl. No, ma'am, bitch. So now we at Nico and Mimi one-year anniversary party or whatever. So, you know, Dawn threw the party or whatever, so she about to introduce them, bitch. The first thing she said is, Nico and Mimi, the new adult entertainment couple, or some shit like that, child. And Mimi was like, damn, the first time I get out the fucking house since all this shit happened, and that's the first thing they bring up. But Mimi, what the fuck you thought was going to happen, bitch? If that was your first time in public, bitch, you should have been ready for the hoes to be asking you questions, wanting to do interviews and everything, bitch. So I don't know why you feel like, bitch, you know, that nobody wasn't going to be talking about it, bitch. This is like a big story, child. Bitch. So Jocelyn meets up with Carly Red to get the tea about what happened at the grand opening the other night, child. So then Jocelyn started telling Carly Red like all the shit that uh Thea done in her past and shit, bitch. So Carly like, ooh, bitch, Benzino know about all this. Jocelyn was like, I guess she told him something to cover up her tracks or whatever. And bitch Carly was like, that hook can't cover up her tracks, bitch. I seen all that whole tracks. <laughs> Wait, Carly, whatever happened to your weave ball, girl? I'm just asking, Carly, because I know you had opened the weave ball, bitch. We seen a, this fancy-ass grand opening, and I ain't heard nothing else about the weave ball, bitch. So now we got Deb and Tammy at the radio station or whatever. And Deb is pitching this new thing that she's doing called Pledge No R.I.P. No reckless internet postings or whatever. Because she said she took KO his laptop or whatever. And she said she didn't know that he was doing all that fighting for them. Like with the bloggers and all that shit. Like people just leaving comments on shit. So and bitch, now we got Stevie J and Jocelyn Child. And they out sipping on some wine and shit. And Stevie J wants to talk about the wedding and planning the wedding all of a sudden and shit, bitch. So Jocelyn like, bitch, I ain't seen you all day and you all talk about planning a wedding? What type of shit that is? And bitch, let me see your phone, bitch. So Stevie like, what you want to see my phone for? She was like, fuck that, let me see your phone. I've been seeing all them pictures in your phone. Of course he denied it. But bitch, you know what the fuck you seen, bitch. And Stevie, bitch, you know what the fuck is in your phone, bitch. So Jocelyn was like, man, look. You talking about planning a wedding for a marriage that I don't even know if I want to be involved in. So, bitch, I guess that's how they going to end it. I guess they supposed to get separated when they never was fucking married. Girl, no ma'am on the sky, young bitch. You is pulling it, bitch. You giving me all kind of Tyler Perry's right about now, bitch. So, y'all, that's basically what happened on this episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Season 3, episode 7. You heard me? Your boy glad to be back doing these reviews for y'all. Y'all make sure y'all comment, thumbs up, share this video. And if you're not subscribed, child, what the fuck you waiting for? Press that subscribe button up here or down there or wherever the fuck is at. This your boy, New Orleans Lil. Peace. Wait, hold up. Hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle, want the hoes to subscribe and comment just a little. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle, want the hoes to subscribe and comment just a little. Now leave your fucking comment, work your fucking comment, write your fucking comment, mix your fucking comment. Now leave your fucking comment, work your fucking comment, write your fucking comment, mix your fucking comment. Leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, leave your comment, work your comment, write your comment, mix your comment, mix, mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, 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 mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, 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 mama, mix, mix, mama, mix, mix. Peace. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil. And that's a wrap. A wrap. 
a wrap on that. And that's a wrap, a wrap, a wrap on that. And that's a wrap, a wrap.